I may not have the best accent, grammar, or writing skills, but I think I can confidently say that I somewhat have succeeded in becoming fluent in English, and that's all thanks to the tips and tricks I discovered during my learning journey, which completely elevated my learning path. I still vividly remember every time I had to speak in class, anxiety would take over and I would freeze up. Everyone in the class would laugh at me. It wasn't a great feeling, and to be honest, it made me want to quit learning English altogether at some point. <laughs> However, giving up wasn't an option. I continued learning and now I'm able to speak almost like a native English speaker. I said all of this to let you know that I completely understand your struggle as I've been through it myself. So for today's video, I'm going to share some of those tips with you and hopefully I'll be able to support you in your learning journey. First, why you may not be able to understand people or respond to them when they talk to you in English. Real life speech can be informal and may include slang, profile, profanity, or other variations that reflect the speaker's personality and cultural background. So you cannot really predict how the conversation will go, what's going to be asked, and how you have to respond to it. You need to adapt as you go. These conversations are unpredictable, fast-paced, and to be honest, where most people get stuck or feel like their English isn't good which is not the case at all. So here's where the first step will come in handy. Think in English, don't translate. The reason you often struggle to understand or keep up in a real life conversation is attempting to translate both what is said in English to your mother tongue and your response from your mother tongue to English simultaneously. This leads to unnecessary thinking and becomes overwhelming. Now, how to think in English. Get in the habit of naming things in English in your head. Wherever you are, look around for objects, food, places, anything. Force your brain to associate images with vocabulary. Also, try having conversations in your head in English. Count things in English. Describe your actions in English. Write your week schedule in English. Literally anything you can. Also, change everything to English. Do not consume any content in your mother tongue. We're talking English books movies, games, news, anything you possibly can. Thinking straight in English speeds up your language skills because you're diving right into it. No need to translate things in your mother tongue, you just connect with English ideas directly, making your overall language game way stronger. This tip will help you not only in English, but also any other language you might want to learn in the future. Talk to yourself in English. Yes, like a crazy person. Whenever you're doing something, ask yourself questions about it in English. Then answer yourself in English. And you have to speak out loud, like you're talking to someone. You're training your speaking skills, not thinking skills. Conversing with others, especially in the early stages of learning, can be really stressful. The good thing about talking to yourself is that it will give you a stress-free practice space, where you can experiment and make mistakes without anyone judging you. I personally would spend countless hours in my room talking to myself in English. To be honest, I still do to this day because I really felt awkward talking in English in front of other people. I didn't feel comfortable and I know this is the case for many other people as well and you might be one of them too. But you gotta do what you gotta do so practice. Practice hard. The stage is yours. Talk to yourself all you want. <laughs> be greedy when it comes to vocabulary. Don't let words whose meanings you don't know get in your way. As soon as someone says something in a movie that you don't know the meaning of, pause, grab your English to English dictionary and get the meaning out. If someone drops a word you don't know the meaning of in a conversation, stop and right then and there ask them what the meaning is. No need to be shy, clarifying is the key to understanding. Just to clarify, you should highly avoid using your mother tongue to English dictionary after you reach intermediate level. Use an English to English dictionary. It will help you learn words in the context of the language itself, promoting a deeper understanding of nuances, synonyms, and usage. It'll enhance your language skills and fosters a more comprehensive grasp of the language. If you're using a dictionary in the language you're learning, you're not getting a translation, but an explanation of the meaning in that language. Translating words may help sometimes, but in general only reinforces the type of thinking where anything you say in one language has to be first filtered 
through your native language, which we already discussed is not good. And yep, that was it for the tips, but I also got a bonus tip for those of you who really care about accents. This is how I fixed my accent. What I did first was to choose which accent I would like to have, which was an American slash Canadian accent in my case, because I knew that eventually in the future, I would be either coming to here Canada or the US. After that, it was easy. I simply placed the book in front of me and started reading it out loud, trying to mimic an American accent. Eventually, I started applying this to everything I would read out loud or say to myself in English. And boom! After a while, it just became natural to me. You're not really going to sound great at first. Matter of fact, you will wisp a lot and sound weird like I do probably right now. <laughs> but we're not here to feel ashamed. We're here to succeed. Originally, accents really don't matter that much, but I personally prefer to fix mine because I had this fantasy of completely conquering English and the accent was one of the requirements. I personally find accents to be really cute and attractive on others, so I prefer people to have accents, but I also understand if you want to change yours. That wraps up today's tips. If you're interested in more, please let me know in the comment section. I'd be glad to share and I also have lots of them, so why not? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you found the video to be helpful or even enjoyed it. I wish you lots of luck in your learning journey. Love you. Bye bye.